very effective, very powerful. And Gangplank will be locked in for Oscar in, it, in that top lane. It is a carry. It does give you potential to scale as the game goes on. There's a huge amount of scaling I mean, on for now. It's like, a lot of a Felios Thresh. The get out of jail free card with that flash lands in Oscar in, in trading with Irrelevant up towards this top lane. Slice and dice forward, Marcoon. Worked his way around here, and Oscarvin has got nowhere to go. Doss stunned up, though, with the Electro Grenade, and Doss will fall for first blood. Meanwhile, in the top lane, Oscarvin is still surviving. In the end, he will fall here. Delayed it for long enough to make sure he doesn't die for first blood, but will be killed by Irrelevant. Okay, so kills happen. And Doss could just play pocket here, works his way back. Now realizes that being a reckless pushing forward that his team is not in the best of shapes. There's the lantern once again. Exekick will take it. Doss should fall. Dies to reckless. The cannon rush helping out as well. Exekick has to burn the flash to escape. Oscar in now though. Not in the best of shapes as Marcoon goes in. And Irrelevant gets his second kill on the board. So SK, they aren't finding a number of dials. I think they're just waiting. There he goes. Oh, flashes! Season to this will go through the Emperor's Divide. Marcoon failed the flash there. A house was expecting Humanoid to sidestep. In the end, he does burn the summoner, but he gets his kill as the reward. Yeah, the execution was a little bit iffy there for Marcoon, but you know what? They make it work. The timing of the ultimate was good enough so that he didn't get knocked back. Now Razzled looking for Doss. Doss has no flash, nowhere to go. Reckless, second kill of the game for him. Put this into a Drake as well, so... Even though SK find themselves with a small gold lead, largely because of the top side of the map. Fury built up, he has more than enough damage to secure that kill onto the gangplank. Certus is working his way up here as well, as is Doss. Marcoon going in, trying to keep Razzle and Oscar in and around. It's going to be a 4v2 for a moment. The TP coming in, Razzle underneath the tower flash to the wake ledge prison. Connects Doss with the lantern, gets Marcoon out! And the cannon barrage, not quite enough damage to kill off the SK jungler. Humanoid going forward, Certus flashes away, the hook connects from Doss, and now they're going onto Humanoid, but he still has his flash! From earlier on, Oscar Rinnan eats some oranges in his cave, but the rest of his team is not. Two, four, reckless diving, Exekick in the bot lane. Exekick gets a one for naught in a 1v2 in the Rift Hell. Now charging forward, Oscar Rinnan left for dust. Irrelevant, dashing in, flashing forward. It's another one, SK. Get no flash on him, flash hook from Doss. The Weaver's Wall coming out from Certus as well, just to make sure this Heimerdinger is a Heimerdunner. As he does die, Cannon Barge in the top lane. Oh, the Meek gonna heal up Irrelevant just a little bit. That Dominus still proccing, will fall off in a second. Oscar winning with the parlay, just needs an auto. Dodges to the side, but Irrelevant going back in, Irrelevant! Gore Drinker slice and dice him up and have him for breakfast. Irrelevant gets another. Humanoid and Razzlecon on the chase, trying to stop this hungry, hungry crocodile as he manages to walk away. Has Wait, has, has he just got out of here? He finds that VN again. I mean, do you just try and kill off the support once again? Call the Meek. Gonna execute. Nah, he's gonna die, die then, yeah. Gets the shutdown. Uh, 800. Close to dying in the 1v1 against Oscar Rennan. And you can feel the frustration of a top laner when you've been shut down so much. Now, to so it's gonna be able to claim the second tower of the game for them as well. The bot lane fell first in favor of SK. Still Fnatic, not yet taking a tower. They are looking down towards this bottom lane, and Oscar Rennan will be left alone with it, so it should be raised to the ground relatively fast. Irrelevant knows that he's not on the strong side of the map, so he's like, okay, Crux are mine. That's fine. I'm happy enough to farm this up. I've already farmed Oscar in four times this game, so a couple of Crux will do me a little bit of good. Very your diet, you know, you have to you get your vitamins, oh, you yeah. get your, your oranges. You push in mid, you push in bot, and then you move into the enemy jungle. You set up these oh, wards, exactly what they have done. Well, now they're looking for a collapse on the top side. Now the vision has been invested bot. So, so I don't just... think SK knew that Razork was here. The Riftheld goes down, Irrelevant was looking for the flank, and now he's going to find Razork. Glacial Prism going out as well, TP away from you, and he's getting the hell out of there. It's like, you're on your own, son. <laughs> Souls, if you can acquire it. There is a Baron up in 20 seconds time, but neither team really, well, SK don't have to force it, and Fnatic aren't in a position to force it, if they, even if they wanted to. Don't think we'll see something sneaky like we saw from XL. Yeah. Meanwhile, there's a mid wave pushing in as well, which searches to Marcoon can just turn over towards. The Weaver's Wall separates SK, but Fnatic looking for the fight here. Ganon Barrage coming out. Exekick's going to take the Lantern to safety, and there's no Glacial Prison. They try and turn it back around onto Razzle. Exactly. <laughs> Bunch of plebs. <laughs> Fnatic looking for something here. Once again, the Glacial Prison just wide. Sir, just getting into that slow zone. Doss the first target, and Razzle will take him. SK, now it's here too, will be forfeit, and SK will have their fifth turret of the game. Oh, for a dive onto Oscar Rennan. Oscar Rennan trying to get out of this one, but underneath the tower, there's just no escape for him. He flashes and is immediately met with a vault breaker from Marcoon. 
for Esk that, yeah. Have we got to the point in our casting career where we just have the same anecdotes happening? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> this is like two weeks ago. I've been man. casting out for seven years. Having a mountain soul. They're now setting up around the Baron. Radzog's been hooked. Search is going to knock him back as well. Marcoon's going in. And now TP. the deep TP is well from Irrelevant as SK look to... Go a little bit deeper on this place. He's going to sit onto Humanoid. Pops the stopwatch. Glacial Prism coming out as well. Humanoid able to flash away. Reckless with the lightning crash. Doing some damage across the wall. Irrelevant and Oscar Vin trading off towards the top side. Irrelevant though still has the GA. The Immortal Shield were propped on the gangplank. And he won't be immortal for very much longer as Malkoon finds him once again. Irrelevant takes the kill. Exekick now stepping forward. That's a big Moonlight Vigil. Humanoid forced away. Exekick not with the best of guns. Looking to try and contest this Baron, which has not quite been started yet. Zerdus with a knockback onto Reckless, cleanses away, looking for the damage on, onto him. Humanoid coming in from the side as well, but Reckless already low, Immortal Shield Proct onto him. Humanoid could slide and glide onto the back line here, it's a perfect opportunity, but he just can't get close enough. Marcoon's ultimate back in four seconds, doesn't even need it, flashes forward, and the shutdown onto the Zeri. Reckless is down, and Razork short to follow, you've got to feel Sirtis with a double. I wasn't expecting, they won the early game, and now they're looking to win the game. They've been looking to win the game the entire game. True, that actually, that's a fair point. They have been point. looking to win the that's game. Fnatic though, me. Look for something desperate here onto Exekick. And you've got to look for something. And you Moonlight Vigil in for Exekick! Okay, Exekick looking for a little bit too much there! <laughs> I've been casting for seven years, Medic. <laughs> yep. And throughout my years, I've seen a number of plays, which I've criticized a professional this Baron area, and now Fnatic are in position. Let's see if they can find a fight. There's a pincer from SK, though, irrelevant coming in from the bottom side of this fight. Humanoid shuffles him in, but he just delivers the crocodile to his backline! Humanoid slides, irrelevant inserts is unstoppable. Oscar in dies once again. Said that a lot so far this weekend, but it's been a struggle for him, and it's been a struggle for Fnatic. Advian down as well. Sirtis flashing forward, looking for Reckless. A cycling shovel will lock him down, a triple for Sirtis. Once again, a weekend to remember for the SK mid laner. He's going to weave his wall forward, trying to catch out Razor, not allowing Fnatic to get out alive. No one survives. The stun will land a threaded body over the wall into one more. And that's enough for SK to take the ace and to look to close out this game. A quadra kill for Sir to surround out the game. A disjointed fight once again from Fnatic, but with the deficit that they found themselves in, there was little they could do. A commanding game from start to finish from SK. And they will look to go 2-0 up in week one of spring. Exekick's trying to do it again! <laughs> There's no one to save Advian. Has to flash away from the long-range auto there. In the end, SK will claim the win, as you say, 2-0 for them. As they continue their winning ways from the winter split. Incredible game once again from SK.